who are a few teammates that have really helped you, especially you know, being a rookie or first year player? Uh, a few teammates, I'll say um, probably like Byron Jones, Bobby McCain, um, Eric Rowe, some of the veterans. Um, they really helped me just a uh, center standard of how practice is supposed to be. Um, um, that's something I, I had to learn the last couple of days about just being out here in the sun. And so uh, they really taught me how to practice and uh, I'm continuing to get better on that every single day. Adam? We've seen you out there running with uh, prominent groups uh, on defense. Did, was that something you had expected coming in? Were you surprised? And how do you think you're handling the moment? Uh, I didn't really expect anything. I was just, uh, I'm just doing whatever the coaches, uh, wherever the coaches put me at. I'm just doing my job, whatever they want me to do. And so I'm just, I'm kind of just here for the, uh, kind of just here for the ride. Just, uh, I'm following their lead and until doing everything they tell me to do. Ian Wolf. Hey, Noah, we heard a little bit about the point system you guys have in secondary of trying to get your hands on the ball and turnovers. What do you kind of view that as in your role and, and, and trying to be on top, to, on top of that list? Oh, uh, it's a um, it's a very good way to uh, inspire. I feel like inspire all of us just to just to get better and to push ourselves in practice, um, especially the point system and whatever it is awards that come out of it, gifts come out of it. Um, it, it just pushes all of us, makes us all uh, makes it a competition, and we all love competition here. It just makes us better. Um, the pit, whatever it is, picks, PVUs, running to the ball, stuff like that. And so I feel like it just makes um, all of us do what we need to do in practice. Ruthie, no, I'm curious with no preseason and a shortened off season, do you feel like you'll ever really be able to grasp how different the NFL game is to college until you're actually out there playing a real meaningful game? Or do you feel like these guys are trying to help get it, get you up to speed? Are you talking about without the fans? No, I'm just saying without, without playing oh, without preseason, preseason and just how different the college game is from, from the NFL. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I would have uh, been good having a preseason. I feel like every rookie – um, in the past, uh, that's that's what, that's some of the games where they um, they make most of their mistakes at, and so um, now it's just practice for me, and that's just how it is. Is the reality we're in? I have to adjust. I have to um, I have to be able just to just to, just to make it and just to um, what's the word? Just just be able to uh, to get better every single day. That's really what it is. Um, preseason, no preseason, no matter what, um, I have to do my job out there. Do do my job out there on the field. Um, I make mistakes on the field every every single day, and so I'm just getting better in that um, and uh, putting the mistakes down. Travis. Hey, Noah, how's it going, man? I wanted to ask you about um, a lot of the talented receivers that you saw in the SEC the last couple of years, and now you're getting plenty of looks against Parker and Williams out there. How has seeing all those big-time talented receivers really helped accelerate your learning curve as a cornerback since you just started playing the position two years ago? Uh, I really feel like that's how I learned, um, um, going against receivers like that, um, knowing, um, getting a feel of how, how receivers like that are, uh, Preston and Devontae and Jakeem and all those guys, they're, they're highly talented receivers as well. And so me being used to be going against receivers every single week in the SEC and stuff like that, I really feel like it uh, gave me an advantage coming into the NFL a little bit. Um, it's, it's still an adjustment. It's still something I'm, I'm still working on because um, it's the game, the speed of the game is different. Um, just just offenses are, are more um, um, are smarter and stuff like that. And so this is something I got to get used to, and I'm doing that every single day. Joe? Yeah. When I saw you had your rookie number 46, I was like, that ain't it. Uh, tell me about this transition to 23. I mean, does that make you better right away, just switching into a 23? Uh, I wouldn't say it made me better. I feel like I would have been the same no matter what number I'm in. Um, of course, it's just something I personally, um, um, I like number 23. I wasn't biased about 46, though, but uh, shoot, um, I had to change it. And so uh, it is what it is. Uh, it's tough to get to know guys through the Zoom setting where we really don't know too much about you, but we saw some, a moment of passion today. I think you and Preston and you had to slam, slam the field after the play. Are you a fiery guy on the field or is that kind of out of character? Oh, no, that's not, I'm not out of character. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a fiery guy. Um, I like to win. I like to win a lot. Um, I'm a competitor at heart. Um, that's just uh, what I've been since I was a kid. And so um, um, him catching the ball on me, this is, I don't like that um, no matter who it is against. And so, um, you just saw, just saw a little reaction, and so. No, I just want to ask you a, a real quick. You're used to those big crowds when you played at Auburn, the other SEC schools. Now knowing that the opener at New England will be no fans in the stands, what do you think that feeling is going to be like? Um, to me, it's, it's going to show if you really love football or not. 
Um, cause fans without fans, it's still a football game on, at the end of the day. Um, you got your teammates, you got your coaches. And so that's, I feel like that's all you really need. The fans is just, yes, fans are a big part of the sport or the fans uh, make the sport what it is, I feel like, but, um, that's just the reality we're in right now. So we got to adjust. Um, so we got to come together as a team and, um, hop ourselves up. Cam? And Noah, going back to, I guess, that, that competition with, with Preston and Devontae, I don't know if you keep a scorecard, but how do you think you've been doing again? To each of them, I guess, so far in camp? Um, I feel like I've been doing pretty good. Of course, I would like to do better. Of course, I don't want them to catch any balls on me at all. That's just the type of dude I am, but uh, it's going to happen. Um, and I've just, um, a few practices in, in the league, and so it's going to happen. It's getting used to it, but um, eventually we'll get there. We'll get to a point where I'm shutting them down a little bit, and so uh, we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Right, we got time for one more. We'll go to Beasley. Uh, have you been able to be in touch with Xavier at all while he's been away? And if so, how's he doing? Uh, he's doing good. Um, I, I really haven't. Um, he's the whole, I don't know what's going on. That's not none of my business. And so um, I've been in touch with him. Um, he's been in meetings and stuff like that. And so, um, um, so that's all I really got for that.